We're going to take a look now at some exponential equations. In other words, equations where the variable is in the exponent in the equation. So, for example, if we consider the equation 3 to the power of x is equal to 9. Now, this is a straightforward one. We can actually solve this just by looking at this equation. So, we say to ourselves, 3 raised to the power of what? gives us 9. And we know that 3 squared is equal to 9, so therefore the value of x that makes the left and the right hand sides the same is x is equal to 2. Now it might not always be so straightforward to solve it by looking at the equation, so let's take a look at a way that we can solve this equation in a more formal way. Okay, so 3 to the x is equal to 9. Now we want to find the value that makes the left and the right hand sides the same. So an easy way to find that value is to make the bases on both sides of the equation the same. Because once the bases are equal, it will follow that the exponents must be equal to each other as well. So 3 to the power of x, if we just um, make that 3 to the power of x, and if we write 9 as a base of 3, 9 is 3 to the power of 2. Now, because the bases on each side are the same, 3 to the power of something is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Therefore, the only thing that x could be is 2, because only 3 squared is equal to 3 squared. So therefore, x must be equal to 2. So when we solve exponential equations, we want to get our variable with a single base on one side of the equation, and then we want to rewrite whatever is on the other side of the equation as a, the same base. Okay, so let's take a look at some other examples. 2 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 16. So in order to solve this formally, we want to get the bases the same on both sides. So 2 to the power of x plus 3. 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So 16 can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 4. So, because the bases are the same, the only thing that x plus 3 could be to make the two sides equal is 4. Because if the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal as well. So we subtract 3 from both sides and we get x to be 1. Okay, and if we just do a little check, 2 to the power of 1 plus 3 is 2 to the power of 4, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Okay, in question 2, we need to first get the base of 5 on its own on the one side of the equation. So, this 5 to the power of a plus 1 is being multiplied by negative a quarter. So, in order to um, undo multiplication by negative a quarter, we times by negative 4. What we do to the left-hand side, we do to the right-hand side. So negative a quarter times negative 4 is just positive 1, okay, because negative a quarter times negative 4 over 1, the 4s will cancel and you'll just be left with 1. So that just leaves us with 5 to the power of a plus 1 on this side. And on the right-hand side, sorry, we should be multiplying by negative 4 as well on the right-hand side. So negative 1 over 20 times 4 is positive 4 over 20, and 4 over 20 simplifies to 1 over 5. Now, we need both sides to have a base of 5, and on this side, the 5 is in the denominator of the fraction. 1 over 5 and 5 are not the same base, so in order to make it the same base, we need to move 5 to the power of positive 1 into the numerator of the fraction, and in order to do that, we need to make its exponent negative. So, therefore, now our bases are the same. We can now say that our exponents are equal. Subtract 1 from both sides, and we get our value of a to be negative 2. There are some examples in your homework book, so please pause the video and try these examples on your own. Okay, number 1. We need to make 9 the same, have the same base as 3. 9 is 3 squared, so therefore x plus 1 is equal to 2. Subtract 1 from both sides, and your final answer is x is equal to 1. 
Number two is a little bit complicated because our variable is in two different places on the left hand side and I mentioned to you earlier in this video that we need to get our base to our variable in one place in the equation and because these two things are being added and they are not like terms 5 to the power of t and 5 to the power of t plus 1 are not like terms so we can't add them the only way we can get them into a single place is to factorize so 5 to the power of t plus 3 times 5 to the power of t times 5 to the power of 1. I'm just going to split that um, exponent. And we can now see that 5 to the power of t is a common factor. So we take 5 to the power of t out as a common factor. That leaves us with 1 plus 3 times 5. And as you can see here, by taking 5 to the t out as a common factor, we get it in a single base. Okay, so if we just tidy up that bracket, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, is equal to 400. We need to divide both sides by 16. 400 divided by 16 is 25. We need to write 25 as uh, having a base of 5, so it will be 5 squared. So therefore, t is equal to 2. Right, number 3, 2 to the power of a is equal to 0, 125. So our job here is to get 1, 0, 125 to have a base of 2. 0, 125 is 125 over 1000. And if you simplify 125 over 1000, you get 1 over 8. We need to have everything with a base of 2, so 8 is actually 2 to the power of 3. We need to bring that 2 to the power of 3 into the numerator because 2 to the power of a and 1 over 2 to the power of 3 is not the same base. So that will be 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of negative 3, and therefore you can conclude that a is equal to negative 3.